Hey guys, it's your boy Zarkizer, and today we're going to talk about the new 2020 KTM 890 Duke R that was revealed at the EICMA International Show in Milan, Italy. The new 890 Duke is simply a better motorcycle than the other middleweight Dukes that KTM has put out in the past. It's upgraded with extensive features, and it's what KTM calls a sportier, edgier, naked bike for hard riding. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel for more daily motorcycle news and reviews. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about the new 2020 KTM 890 Duke. And also give this video a thumbs up if you like it. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post daily motorcycle content and definitely check out my online store where you can buy some cool motorcycle accessories and apparel. All right, yeah, so let's get right back into it. The new 2020 KTM 890 Duke R was unveiled in Milan, Italy on November 5th at the International EICMA Show. The 890 Duke is a more powerful, revier version of the 790 Duke that was previously launched in 2018, complete with a more premium suspension and less weight. The 890 produces more power, more torque, less harmful emissions from its parallel twin motor, and it also has racier rider ergonomics. The new middleweight Duke is what KTM calls a sportier, edgier, naked bike for hard riding. The 890 has more power, more torque, better brakes, and a fully adjustable WP Apex suspension setup. The new 890 Duke exists between the 790 Duke and the 1290 Super Duke. But a question some of you might be asking is, didn't KTM just introduce the all new 790 Duke a couple years ago? So why produce an upgrade this soon? The answer, I think, is that the 890 isn't a replacement to the 790. It's just another variation to be sold alongside the 790. I believe KTM is just expanding their range of bikes, 790, 890, and 1290. The 890 Duke R uses an upgraded 790 parallel twin, now making 121 horsepower. That's 15 more than the previous 790, and yet the 890 weighs almost 7 pounds less at a dry weight of 366 pounds. The seat height is 834 millimeters, and the new Duke has a fuel capacity of 14 liters. Just like the Super Duke R, the 890R gets WP Apex suspension front and back and 320mm brakes. Most of the previous 790's electronics package will carry over to the new 890 Duke model. In fact, their spec sheets look identical for everything but the engine, suspension, brakes and some little differences in geometry. The bike features more power, more torque, better brakes, fully adjustable WP Apex suspension, and other awesome equipment. It's simply a better motorcycle than the 790 Duke that was out previously. The frame of the 890 Duke has not changed from the 790, and KTM claims it's getting 121 horsepower and 73 foot-pounds of torque out of the parallel twin engine. The bike is simply more hardcore than the other middleweight Dukes KTM has put out in the past. The new 890 Duke's engine capacity has increased from 799cc to 889cc, with the parallel twin now producing 119 brake horsepower and 73 foot-pounds of torque compared to the previous 790's 103 brake horsepower and 64 foot-pounds of torque. Producing more power and torque than the 2018 machine, the 890's higher state of tune comes from an increased compression ratio, larger valves, and aggressive cams with more lift. It also revs a further 250 RPM and there are gains to both bottom end and mid-range power. The seat height, foot rest, and ground clearance have also all been raised for all those eager riders ready to take their bike out for track days. The 890 Duke is simply a better motorcycle than the other middleweight Dukes KTM has put out in the past. The new KTM 890 Duke R comes with a robust electronics package, which includes a 6-axis IMU cornering ABS with supermoto mode, traction control, motor slip regulation, and an optional up-down quick shifter. With all of that, the whole motorcycle weighs just 366 pounds. So, to recap, Everything that was mediocre about the KTM 790 Duke, the new KTM 890 Duke R replaces and enhances with premium goodies. If you want to get your hands on one of these, this bike will be available at the end of February at a price range of around $11,500.
So yeah, that's it for the new 2020 KTM 890 Duke R. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this new addition to the KTM family. Do you like the new features? Do you like the new bodywork? Do you think it's too expensive? I respond to every comment, so definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for daily motorcycle news and reviews, and also follow me on Instagram, where I post daily motorcycle content. Alright, see you guys tomorrow. Peace!